Dion Wynne. Hi everyone, welcome back to my book for the very first time and I have quite a exciting review for you today. It is one of my most anticipated films of the last decade and that is Leos Carax's latest film, Annette. The director has kind of grabbed me from the very first minute I watched any of his films from Lovers on the Bridge, Marvel Sign, Boy Meets Girl, Polar X, Holy Motors, they are all fascinating films and some of the most artistically brilliant films I have ever witnessed and he is up there with one of my favourite directors of all time. And the minute I heard Carax was collaborating with Sparks to create a musical film, I was just, yeah, sell me now. Got the vinyl, listened to it even before I saw the film. Loved following the production story of this. I still remember when Carax's dog went missing and Adam Driver was like, hell find Leos' dog. Everything happened in the production of this film and there is a lot to talk about the film. So enough introducing, let's get talking. Annette follows the story of Henry, a stand-up comedian with a fierce sense of humour and Anne, a singer of international renown. In the spotlight, they are the perfect couple, healthy, happy and glamorous. The birth of their first child, Annette, a mysterious girl with an exceptional destiny, will change their lives. Right, I will go from the very beginning. This is not Lewis Carrick's best film. But my God, it was a wonder to watch. I feel like he has pushed the boundaries of his artistic style and oeuvre with this film because it is a lot more complex, especially within its kind of menagerie of really splendid visuals. It is absolutely captivating to see, but it also maintains that kind of essence of raw, humanicity and what romanticism can be because what character does so well is he brings the most ferocious elements of what humanity is about but along the same lines he gives a lot of kind of loving exuberance to them and when I went into Annette I, I expected this but there's something about the visuals that kind of grabbed me, this myriad of flair and it just weaves so well to the Sparks composition because the music is a massive part of this film. It's a musical film, of course. And I think when you get So May We Start as the first song, you think to yourself, okay, this is kind of really energetic and it really just pushes you in. But as it goes along, the songs really just tell the tale so well. And I think this kind of beautiful balance of the cinematography with the composition of music or with the performances it just gives it a lot more life and the words also are so meaningful and as you kind of get to understand the characters a bit more the words seem to be a lot more important and even when I listened to the vinyl the first time I could visualize where we were going with this and the tale of what of what it is. I'm not going to recommend you to listen to the vinyl before watching the film. I wouldn't say that. I was just too excited and I had to I had to listen to it. But what I really loved is within this 2 hours and 20 minutes of a film, it just flies. I really just got so engaged with the whole idea of this and it just gives you these challenges of the quarrels of life. It really looks at what ego is and what what the representation of masculinity is to be a man, I think. And I think Driver is absolutely astounding in this lead performance. I loved hearing him sing in Marriage Story a couple of years ago, but just to hear him sing through a whole musical film was just something I never expected to have. I still really would love to see him sing in the musical company but Annette was this kind of rock opera explosion by him and I really loved how him and Marion Cotillard worked together I think they they really devoured the lyrics and it just kind of became them it really just built into something so poignant and very beautiful but also exceptionally provocative as Leo's characters. There are moments here you will be like, what the hell? And this is the only thing I will say to you about this film. A lot of people have said that this is really out there, but if you have watched Leo's characters films, it's not going to be that shocking to you. I think that's the best way I can go with this. I understand some 
critics have seen this film and never seen a Carrex film, but I think if you have watched his work, you will actually understand a bit more. Well, actually, this is just your standard Carrex affair, but with a couple of extra notches. I couldn't really tell you what I didn't like about this film, but it was just a real moment and a massive ball of energy for me. And honestly, I cannot wait for more people to see it. It's coming out in a lot of territories between August and September. Be sure to check it out. Mubi are releasing it in the UK, which is absolutely fantastic. And it's going to be on Amazon Prime mid-August. Right, that was my review for Annette. Please let me know in the comment section below what you thought of it. And if you haven't seen it, let me know what your favourite Leos Carax film is. I'm always intrigued to know. Thank you so much to my new subscribers, all subscribers for all the love and for watching any of these videos that I make. My next video will be So We Want To Get Into Kelly Reichardt. And I will see you in the next video.